There are all kinds of galaxies filled with all kinds of planets you've probably never heard of. Well, welcome to the Galaxy of Magic. And this is my planet, Silver Shimmer Sphere Luminaqua. Yeah, I said it, my planet. I have my own planet, pretty cool, right? And this happens to be Sand Dollar Palace, my castle. Yeah, I have a castle too, no big deal. Well, who am I, you ask? I will be your mystical guide on this... Well, actually, why don't I invite you inside first? And here it is in all its glory, Sand Dollar Palace. My own personal palace, welcome inside. And I am... Uh, why am I eating my mid-morning snack in a robe? Aqua, what the heck? I'm really sorry, Moon Gleam. I must have mixed up the panels and put that one in instead of the one that was supposed to... Of course you mixed up the panels. Look at me, there are crumbs on my face. I'm uh, just on to the next panel. Anyway, much better. It is nice to meet all of you. I am Mermaid Fairy Moon Princess Moon Gleam Mira. And this is Hot Pink Glitter Star and Midnight Maw of the Moon and Aqua, my usually trusty sidekick. <laughs> I'm the cutest character! Yeah. Anyway, as a mermaid fairy moon princess, I have certain responsibilities bestowed upon me. As the daughter of King Moonbeam, I was given this magical iridescent seashell in which I have basically my own universe. I have my own magical worlds that I need to look over and make sure nothing goes wrong. Isn't that right, Aqua? That is right! Which world are we going to visit today? Well, let's open up the seashell and see. All right, well, I hope you'll all join me on this wonderful journey as we visit my small magical world of Flora Flora. How exciting, I like this one. Let's go. Beanie Bunny's Bloom. This is Beanie Bunny. She's a bloomy. What's a bloomy, you ask? It just means we all have flowers on our heads, yo. Cattail, don't interrupt the story. I'm the one narrating. Oh boy. I'm sorry, everyone. He just literally needs to comment on everything. You said it, Cherry Blossom. He really does. Oh, please, Cherry Blossom. They love it. Um, guys, I thought this was my story. It is your story, Beanie Bunny. Now, let's get back to it. No interruptions. Beanie Bunny was a bright little bunny who loved nature and gardening, music, and adventuring. She lived in the magical world of Flora Flora, filled with the inhabitants called Bloomies. And as you can probably guess, there was a lot of importance based on horticulture. I mean, even their son was a giant blossoming flower. Beanie Bunny grew up in the burrows of Flora Flora in a nice little hutch with her mother Daisy and her brother Bobby Bunny. Now one thing you should know about bloomies is that their blooms on their heads aren't always full flowers. As a baby, they start off with a bud on their head. And then as they reach that awkward preteen stage, which I'm sure you all can relate to, their flower slowly starts to bloom. And then eventually, during the annual blossoming festival, their flower blooms completely. Hey, that's supposed to be me. Alright, that wasn't really nice to do, Cherry Blossom, but he kind of deserved it. It is said that a Bloomy fully blossoms when they find their true self. Beanie Bunny was having a bit of a problem, though. Even though she was super comfortable at home, in front of her fellow Bloomies around her same age, she just felt terribly shy. She would get nervous and closed off, and she never knew why. The most fashionable Bloomies in the land, Rosalia and her best friend Poppyfield, used to snicker behind Bloomy Bunny's back and make fun of her, because they didn't understand how a Bloomy could be so quiet. Cherry Blossom, who was friends with Rosalia, overheard them doing this, and she worried about Beanie Bunny, even though she never approached her herself. Beanie Bunny would go home and tell her little brother stories, play games, play her fiddle and dance to music, and tend to her garden. She had so many interests and so many things she liked, but when she was around her other bloomies, it was almost like she lost the ability to talk, and she would get so nervous that she shook. To make matters even worse, the Blossoming Festival was quickly approaching. This was a festival when Bloomies around Beanie Bunny's age would walk onto a stage and make a short speech explaining what makes them happy and what makes them who they are, and usually after this speech, they blossom. 
One day, actually the day before the festival, in the vineyard meadows, Cherry Blossom and Cattail were hanging out and talking. They were talking about Beanie Bunny. Cherry Blossom was concerned. Maybe the fact that she's so quiet is because no one approaches her and gives her a chance. Cattail, why don't we just try hanging out with her? I feel bad. Cattail replied, I mean, she's pretty nice and all, and she's actually pretty cute, but we don't even know her, dude. She could be super weird. But yeah, we should probably say hi. I agree. So they were in agreement. The Blossoming Festival was in one day, and they wanted to go see what Beanie Bunny was about. Why was she always so sad? Why was she always so quiet? So Cherry Blossom shouted out, Hey, Beanie! Beanie Bunny's ears perked up. She was really surprised. But then, when she noticed that Cherry Blossom was calling her, it was almost like her mouth zipped shut. Why would Cherry Blossom want to talk to her? It didn't make sense. Beanie Bunny got really nervous. Cherry Blossom and Cattail approached her with the best intentions. Cherry Blossom knew exactly what to do. Beanie Bunny, she said, the Blossoming Festival's tomorrow, and Cattail and I were wondering if you wanted to get ready with us. Beanie Bunny couldn't believe she was agreeing to this, but she figured why not, and she said, okay. So off they went to Cherry Blossom's house. Why don't we make this story a little more interesting? I know Cherry Blossom happens to like to sing. Why do you think that they won't hear you? You deserve to be heard. You deserve to be heard. So speak up. You never know if you don't speak up. You'll never bloom. So hang with us. There's always room. Cause really, you never really know what'll happen. Try something new. Cause you have your own voice. Just like we do. Everybody had a blast hanging out with Cattail and Cherry Blossoms. She just never thought she would be accepted, but she was. Finally, it was the Blossoming Festival, and everything was decorated in the main garden, and all of the bloomies were ready. Rosalia and Poppyfield, of course, were gossiping about which bloomies would blossom and which wouldn't, and of course, they didn't believe in Beanie Bunny. I guarantee when Beanie Bunny gets up there, she probably won't even say a word, <laughs> laughed Rosalia. <laughs> You're so right, agreed Poppy Field. Cherry Blossom, Beanie Bunny, and Cattail approached the stage. Everything looked beautiful, but slightly intimidating. It's no big deal, said Cherry Blossom. You'll be fine up there, Beanie Bunny. Beanie Bunny wasn't so sure. Cattail glared at Cherry Blossom because she never gave him that kind of support. Finally, the queen of Flora Flora, Queen Orchidia, approached the stand, and she gave a beautiful opening speech, wishing luck to all of the young bloomies that were about to approach the stage, and finally, it was time. Petunia Pig gave a beautiful speech about how she always loved taking care of her siblings, and how she felt that she wanted to be a nurse and take care of other bloomies for the rest of her life. And she blossomed right after that. And Cattail, it turned out it was his lucky day. He explained how he loves to tell jokes, likes to surf, and he's a really big music fan. And that he just likes to make people smile and always has the best intentions. And he blossomed too. Everything was going perfectly, but finally, it was Beanie Bunny's turn. Beanie Bunny approached the stage, and oddly, she wasn't feeling that scared. Her friends gave her a newfound confidence, and she almost felt ready to give her speech. Queen Orchidia passed over the lilac microphone to Beanie Bunny. But then it happened. Beanie Bunny heard giggling from the crowd. Rosalia and Poppyfield were gossiping about her again. 
Beanie Bunny looked out at all of the gloomies, seeing all those eyes on her and hearing the giggles. All of a sudden, she was back in her place where she couldn't say a word. All she heard were insults just ringing in her head. She didn't know what to do. She didn't deserve to be up there. She couldn't say anything. Why should she have the right to say anything? But she had to, so she opened her mouth and said, Um... And that's when she saw them, Cherry Blossom and Cattail, waving her on, giving her big smiles, and she immediately remembered the fun night she had with her new friends the night before. Beanie Bunny's eyes welled up with tears. She was so touched. She had friends now. She was liked, and she deserved to be up there on that stage just like any other Bloomy did. So she said, Hi, I'm Beanie Bunny. And right after that first opening word, she didn't feel as scared. She went on to give her speech. She said that she liked to tell stories, play the fiddle, dance to music, hang out with her brother, and explore. She loved nature, and she saw beauty in the world, and she always loved to learn new things. She just kept going off and off, giving off details she'd never told any Bloomy about before, as if she was just hanging out with Cherry Blossom and Cattail. She talked and talked and talked more than she ever talked before. And you know what? Bloomy started to listen. They were surprised because Beanie Bunny was finally opening up and they were encouraging of it. Even the sleepy Bloomies woke up from their naps and they never wake up. Rosalia even took off her glasses that weren't really prescription because she just wore them for fashion. She was shocked. She could not believe Beanie Bunny was opening up the way she was. But she was. The crowd began to cheer. They were so happy for her. Beanie Bunny never felt so confident and accepted and just happy to be herself. And then it happened. A huge beam of light started to surround her, and she slowly started to blossom. Her blossom bloomed into a big, beautiful flower. Cherry Blossom and Cattail were so happy for their new friend. And hey, Beanie Bunny knew now that all she had to do was be herself and open up, and she would find the Bloomies that would accept her. And she and Cattail and Cherry Blossom stayed friends for life. And Beanie Bunny wasn't really quiet ever after that. Well, that's the end of the story. I'm so happy for Beanie Bunny. That was a great ending, wasn't it, Midnight Love? Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed our journey to Flora Flora, and I hope you'll come by again and visit another one of my magical worlds. Until next time!